Today we're going to be going over a Genie AWP-20S manually propelled vertical mass lift, also known as push around. On this personnel lift here, you're going to have a weatherproof manual box. It's always going to consist of these three manuals, your AEM manual, your operator's manual, and your ANSI's responsibilities manual. Those are always going to be located in this weatherproof box in the basket. Before you use this unit, you're going to have all four outriggers stowed in this stowed position. You're going to want to pull these out, and in all four corners here, you have a latch. Go ahead and pull your latch out. Make sure those lock into place, and you're going to want to raise them up. Now there's a bubble level located in this corner of the machine to help you set them straight on there. <clears throat> also your battery is located right on the rear of the machine. You're going to want to plug this in. This is a charge cord for the battery. At any time not in use, you can go ahead and plug that in. It's never going to overcharge your batteries, just to make sure you always have good power. Also, down below underneath the ground control box, this is your 110 platform. You plug this cord in right here, and that's going to give you power to the platform there. Now with this e-stop out, key all the way to the left, you're going to see you got four indicator lights here. Before you operate this machine, you have to have all four lights on and the outriggers locked into place. Now to send power up top, you're going to want to take the key switch, turn it all the way to the right, again with the e-stop out, that's going to put power to the platform. Inside this platform, you got a factory anchor point where you're going to tie your harness off to. You're going to want to pull your e-stop out. The center button there, that's a function enable button. And the toggle down below is going to be to lift and lower the machine. Now, from the ground controls here, with the key switch all the way to the left, you can only lower the machine, you cannot raise it from down below. If for any reason your batteries go low on you, you can still get this machine down. This has got a battery backup inside here. You can still get this machine down with the e-stop out, key switch all the way to the lower position, battery backup will get you down. You also have a second way of getting down with the manual manual lowering valve all the way down below here. You pull that knob out and that's going to get the machine down also. <clears throat> to show you the ease of loading this machine, this it all can be done by one individual. Just for ease of this video here, I got a helper today. Outriggers out, again, pull out on the latch and stow your outrigger back into position on this side of the machine. Now before you load this, you're going to want to remove your battery by lifting up. Go ahead and sit it in the back of the truck. Now, at this point, you have a stop bracket with a pivot point here. You're going to want to raise this up so it's right above the height of your tailgate and lock that into position there. <clears throat> As so. Now, there's a T handle on the back side. You're going to, also with another latch, you're going to pull your latch out. Lock your T-handle into place, 
And at this point, you're able to load it to the back of your truck. Go ahead and lock the C-handle back down, and then you can go ahead and tie down this personnel lift in the back of your truck. If you have any questions or, or concerns, just go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Thank you much.